Okay, I think this is going to be my last video for the evening. I just wanted to show you, look what I found. I found my physics book that I was looking for with all the really cool illustrations. Some of these would be awesome in a steampunk journal too. But there's plenty to go around. Ooh, spectrum. And it has um, pictures and short bios of various physicists. So I will have fun um, going through this and choosing images to use. And I already pulled some out. This is the one I saw that I thought was so similar to the Tim Holtz stamp. It's not the same, but it is very similar. So I also, I've been thinking about what to do. I'm not going to use lace or fabrics in this journal. It just doesn't seem appropriate for the science book and my um, customer who, who wants the custom book um, asked for no fabric or no lace anyway, but it just doesn't seem right. So I've been trying to think of ways to embellish it and I've got something I'm thinking about, but I'm not sure I have to make it work before I show it to you. But in the meantime, I, I just got out various punches and punched um, my index cards that have a grid on them. Let's see, yeah, you can see it. Because I thought graph paper was appropriate to use in a science book. So I will distress these and use them somehow. And I punched a few shapes out of the scraps of pattern paper. So maybe I'll do some layering. But I just have these to see what I can do with them. In the meantime, again, I have my pages cut for both journals. I've got to move my laptop here. And let me see. This one is the larger one. And then I have this one. So I've got them cut and organized in the order that I want them. And usually, I almost always use a patterned paper, sorry, on the front of each signature. And then in order to make it usable for you to write on, I almost always put a pocket on it and tuck a card in it that you can journal on. So here's what I was thinking for these. I pulled some images from that physics book, or some pages, I should say, and I'm going to layer them onto some scraps of scrapbook paper that looks like ledger and graph paper and stuff like that. So it looks like it would come out of a scientist's notebook. So I'm going to layer them. So I'm just going to cut things to size right now because I'm going to use my sewing machine for actually putting things together and I don't want to do that right now. So I just pulled a bunch of pieces of scrapbook paper that have ledger and graph paper designs and stuff. So I'm just going to start putting some things together. And I would say, I'm trying to get my uh, ATG gun. I would say I'll chat with you while I do it, but I don't know if I have any chatting to do. Oh, one of the viewers of a previous video that I did earlier when I mentioned going to the holistic doctor wanted to know what she said to me about my being tired and not being able to sleep and stuff because she's having the same issue and I did answer her comment but in case in case you are wondering too I'll just say that she told me I was very deficient in vitamin D which can make you very tired and it also has to do with the fact that I don't sleep and that, you know, it's allergy season and that always wipes me out. And I'm still grieving and grief makes you tired. So there's a lot combining to cause this issue, but she thinks the vitamin D is going to help me. So I took one today. We'll see how long it takes. I am tired today, but... We'll see. I'll, t I'll take it for a while and see how it goes. So there's one. I hope that wasn't too much information. I mean, 
Sometimes I get a little personal. So this is um, Mechanical Work, Work and Energy page. And I will stitch it to this, and then I will stitch this to this, and then there will be a pocket right here. And then I'll have to come up with a card to put in there. Which will be easy with those cool stamps that I have. Alright, so let's do another one. I did pull out some pages and I got one more cut. This is the side I wanted to use. This is a Prima ledger and it's a cardstock one so it's even sturdier. What a difference between the paper doll journals, pretty pink, lacy, feminine paper doll journals, and the science journals. But I get bored doing the same thing all the time, so I don't do the same thing all the time. I jump from one thing to another. But hopefully they all have my style. There's another one. I like that page. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use that. I was wondering if I should make a copy of that, like scan it into my computer, but it'll take a while to do that. And I could still do it while it's attached to my page. I'm trying to find out what I did with my paper trimmer. What did it? Oh, here it is. My table's getting cramped again. And I'm putting my arms around my tripod and bumping it. So I apologize. I think I have to apologize at least once every video for bumping my tripod. Density and Specific Gravity. This is supposed to be an abstract floral, but it kind of reminded me of atoms. <laughs> I don't know why. I know they don't look like atoms, but it just reminded me, or maybe something floating in the, on the microscope slide or something. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. I probably wouldn't use it in a floral journal because I don't like it as a floral. It's black and... So, I like it for a science book. You guys are encouraging to me because as I rewatched or watched the video that I did earlier, the videos, um, I eliminated a couple because, like I said, I'm tired and it shows on some of those videos. Um, my phone rang on one of them and the sewing thing was just boring. I didn't even watch that one back. I knew that was boring. <laughs> but anyway, I did upload three videos and I'm always concerned about these process, you know, craft with me or process videos. So there's that one. I'm sorry. So there's three, and now I have the other journal to do. Anyway, you guys leave comments that really encourage me. You tell me that you really enjoy watching the process. And since I enjoy showing the process, I am glad because I want to continue doing these. So thank you very much for commenting. I hope that you... Um, Give the thumbs up also because that helps get my, my videos um, noticed by more people. I'm sorry, I'm going to try not to just slam that cutter thing down because I know it's noisy when I watch the video back. But like I said, I've got my arms around the tripod and it's a little awkward. So anyway, 
give me a thumbs up on my videos and even share them. Put them on Pinterest, whatever. So a little something on that. This is another one of the Prima ones. And get my videos um, recommended. I think the more the more thumbs up I get, the more recommendations are given. Oh, I have to remember these are smaller pages. So let me see. I might have to swap that out with one of these. That one's a big one. That one's a big one. They're all a little too big. So anyway, thank you for the encouragement. I can just make this a little smaller. But I want it to be I want it, I want you to be able to see that it's on ledger paper or else it's just a waste of the ledger paper. Well, this way I get to trim off that little pink spot anyway. that works. I enjoy each of the types of books that I make. So while I'm making this one, I think about the mermaid books that I'll be making and I get anxious to do them. So I need to learn to just focus on what I'm doing and enjoying the process for that and not feel like I need to hurry up and get it done because someone else is waiting for a journal or because I want to get to the next journal because I really do enjoy each and every journal that I create. I put my heart into them and I hope you can tell. I like this part that I cut off of that ledger paper from Prima. It says note. So I'll have to include that in something. batteries for my camera because it seems like I'm always saying my flash my battery light is flashing but that one didn't last long either I know that using video uses them up faster should have trimmed that one a little bit more gonna have to try to So I have one of the older batteries in right now and it's flashing and I just put it in after, I don't know, I didn't use it all day, I, the, other, the new one that I put in died so I put this one in so it hasn't been in use for all of the videos today but I guess I just have to accept the fact that when I'm videoing the battery is going to die. But now I have four batteries instead of two, so that's a good thing. Now I have to find one more page that I can use. One that I can trim more narrowly. Ooh, I love that. I'm gonna definitely scan that into my computer. It's a compound microscope. There's the eye. I think I'll use this. I think 
I can trim it here and use both sides of the page. Well, yeah. <laughs> Cut it right off there. <coughs> oh dear. Sorry about that. So I had to cut off part of the text. So, boy, I made this one really small. But more of the ledger paper will show on this one. about the right size. Uh, I will be zigzagging around it with brown thread so that will help set it off so I don't need a mat around it, I don't believe. There. Now I have pockets ready to sew for each of the signatures. So I'm going to call it quits tonight. I've got to try to wind down so I'll be able to sleep tonight. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Hopefully I'll be doing better tomorrow. I should have a bit of time, a lot of time in the craft room tomorrow. So I've already been asked to watch kids three days next week. And I'm supposed to have an outing with a friend next week. We're going to go to some secondhand stores she wants to show me in her area that I've never been to. So that ought to be fun, but it's going to really limit my time in the craft room. So let's see if I can get a whole lot done this week. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.